Good morning, Gino. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning. Good morning, Sophie. I'm waiting to say good morning to Sophie and she takes the sled down. Like, should we tell her that it's not the fastest way? Who should tell her? <laughs> good morning, Sophie. It is actually a, such a glorious day today. It's so nice outside. It's cold, but like a nice cold. Like one where you don't freeze the minute you walk out the door. So it is glorious. Find the many miracles every day, guys. You have to wear gloves. You want my glove? Here's a glove. We can each have one. Good morning, Penny Pickle. A good mom tells her child, well, go back up to the house and get yourself some gloves. And even better mom gives her kid gloves. Yeah, a kinder mom gives the gloves to the child off her hands. Make sure you give them back. <laughs> That's a joke, you guys. Everybody should parent the way they feel comfortable. Make them go back up, give them to them, your choice. And whatever you choose is the right choice. Do you. Sophie and I are on chores this morning. Oh, Gracie's lost the strap. So then our on chores today. Willow's getting a new blanket. That blanket, well actually I'm glad you put it on her. It's too small, but I can see she only needs one size bigger maybe. We put it on last night because it was really, really cold. It's nice today. We might take them off. I can't feel right now. That's because you went sledding before chores. Who does that? Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday. And you guys, yesterday we went riding and we took Gracie and I, like the last time we took her, we were like, we were nervous and we we're like, let's just lunge her, let her just check it out. And then we'll take her home and then we'll bring her back another time. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, I don't want to just bring her there and throw a kid on her. Even though we were there with her and Chino's were there with her and I thought she would be okay. So last night is the night. Julia from Barn Boots and Country Roots finally gets to ride her. And she rode her. Holy cow. I think even our trainer was shocked. Everybody was shook. I think, like, I was so shook. I, shook. I was like, what the heck is just happening? It's like, Gracie remembered everything about being a lesson pony. You guys know she was a lesson pony. She's 12 years old. 11 years old? 12 years old? I think she's 12. She was a lesson pony for a long time, for years. Uh, like, a really good lesson pony. And then she decided she wasn't going to do it anymore. And then we got her. And man, she stepped back into that routine. Like, I, you gotta watch the video. It'll be on Barn Boots and Country Roots channel. If you watch nothing else today, watch that video. If you are, especially if you're a Gracie lover, like, I have never been more proud. Were you proud of her? Yeah. Like, so we were just shocked. Like, the thing she remembered the most out of everything was, if you stand in the middle, it's not your turn. <laughs> And then when she got to the middle and then it was her turn, she also remembered if I argue a little, then maybe they won't make me. But anyways, it was like, you could tell, it was like she just picked up where she left off, but not the bad part of where she left off. But also, one last thing about it. I don't know, if you guys have been here long enough, then you'll know that before we got Gracie, she was coming back into work. Like, they had let her off for a long time to try and see if that would settle her, because she was kind of throwing fits. And they're bringing her back into work. The only person small enough to handle that and ride her was Kaylee, who was just a tiny bit taller than Julia. And Kaylee rode her a few times and then they did a show with her. And in that show, Kaylee has it on her channel. And she, in that show, she was like bucking and throwing massive fits and just was crazy. So knowing that, and then seeing how Gracie, like we've been, we have friends that ride her every time they come here. Like we have friends that every time they're here, they ride her. Uh, the girls like play with her and jump her sometimes. And she, like we've kept up through the years, keeping her doing stuff, having riders on her. My grandkids ride her. Brooklyn can ride her without, without us holding, like without a lead line and stuff like that. So I knew what she could do and I knew what she was like at home. I just didn't know what she was going to be like at the barn. You got to see it. That's it. That's done. Like I just, you got to see it. In fact, I cannot wait to watch it myself because I can't even believe it with my own eyes. Like Gracie's turning into our super pony, like our superstar pony. Ready to go out or just waiting for Chino? Gotta wait. We're always waiting on men, aren't we Penny Pickle? Always. It's the way of the world.
swear to God, she just kissed me. She does that. She just will like every once in a while, she'll just kiss me. And I think it's because she's confused. <laughs> Why are we standing here? Am I supposed to be doing something? Let me kiss you and see if that's the right thing. Yeah, the snow's still here. The other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about last night was that Chino, oh man, he looked the best he's looked in a long time ever since like we've been working with his feet. You guys know we took his shoes off a few, like a month ago or maybe six weeks ago, like a while ago. And I know for some horses it takes like two weeks and they're good. But he seemed to like really take a bit of time. So we were gentle with his feet while he was building up and giving him time. So on hard ground, like we changed up the the footing that he was walking on. But, but then we also used his boots to protect him and um, when we felt he needed to be protected. And he's good. It's the first ride he's had since he had his shoes off that I think like, yeah, he's doing it. Like he's gonna be the way that we he was when we bought him with no shoes and doing great. So we're trying to do this thing with the baby where we don't ruin her hair because minis get really thick and they do really well in the winter. And so what we want to do is uh, keep watching her and when she gets cold, especially like when it gets really cold at night, put a blanket on her when she's in her stall or put a blanket on her when it's really wet and cold so that we can keep her fur. Like if she was cold right now, I don't want to put the thin blanket on that we have the cooler. Yeah, like the stable sheet. So yeah, like we were, this is what we're trying. We should have done it with Willow. We should never put a blanket on her. But the only reason we put a blanket on her was because she was cold. Yeah, Willow gets cold. But then we should have taken it off, like when she was warmed up and once like the weather changed and it was a little mm -hmm. bit warmer because then she could have maintained like her, her fur. I feel like once you blanket a horse, their hair, even though it's not governed by, by this, it's like they, their body doesn't grow the same thick coat the next time. Like, and I think you could probably get past it and leave them for a year and then they would regrow a warm coat the next year. Here. Yeah, turn on the heat. We are headed to the tax store because that's our favorite thing to do. Um, more because it, it, but we'll wait till it gets warm, Sophie, because if, if it's pumping out cold air, it'll be cold. Anyways, uh, before we go to the tax store, I wanted to tell you guys that Sophie's sick. <laughs> I just have a runny nose. Yeah. She did a bunch of COVID tests and so far it's been negative. She just has a runny nose, which is okay. She isn't feeling great though. She didn't ride last night. So you guys know, uh, Sam wants to find something to put the hay in in the big field because we might leave the big horses in the big field for the winter. And I'm at the tax store and I'm trying to think like, what kind that of hay one. feeders do you guys like? That black one. Yeah, that's the one that I'm thinking that looks most feasible to me, but we're never gonna fill it that hard, high. That'd be hard for horses to get it out from the bottom because we're not going to like free feed them with, we're not doing round bales. But that one is cute and it looks the least dangerous. Sam wants to get these, like something like that. We've used this before and I like it, but look, they have a smaller size even. These I'd just be worried, I know, but you can put hay in them. I'd just be worried that they blow away. Oh my gosh, it's so cold and the horse is naked. He's naked. So we're here to get Willow a new blanket which I wanted to wait and get it so that I could get a pink one for her, but she can't wait. I love these. I love the gray pieces. I don't like those. I feel like they wear so fast. These are the only kind of reaches I wear. I know. And then, do you see any struck that you like? So we're also gonna get ideas of what the girls want for Christmas. Look, they have winter riding breeches. I had a pair of these once. And then they had to get cut off of me in the hospital. These seem comfortable. Yeah, they are comfortable. I've had ones like that, Sophie. Do you want to try a pair? Yeah. But they're going to be warm. Let's see what's inside them. They're like so soft and thick. I love that. All right, do you see anything you like? Nothing? Gabby's hard to shop for. Oh, I yeah, they even have Lemieux shirts now. Yeah, I like that too. That's pretty. I love this hoodie. This is a nice hoodie. Do you like it? I'm not a fan of that, but I like that. I don't like that. I like that neck. I like it. Today's trip is taking us downstairs where it's Christmas. Christmas at the tax store. 
Um, like I said, we need a saddle pad. I love it. This half pad, I don't like the color of it, but it's really nice. The saddle. It's nice it. because it matches the saddle. So, so if he wants to get matching blankets, that one's cute. That's cute. I like it. If she wants to get matching blankets for Willow and Honey. Well, I need a cooler so. You found it? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of blankets here now. There's a lot of blankets. Oh, and look at I want to get the girls these for Christmas. Yes, I need that. I know. Well, you need a horse first. But what black. color? They black. have like, that's cute. Black. You want black? It's a three-quarter sheet. Is that what that is? A three-quarter sheet? That's one thing we've never bought. Exercise sheet. An exercise sheet. Do you know what the biggest thing that stops me from buying a blanket is? One that has no color. So that's the one? Yeah. I love this one. A horse wearing horses. But this one's thin, Sophie. This is too thin. Too thin. Too thin. These are rain sheets. And then this is a lightweight. We're not getting that. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Don't let your kids see you when you do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so they have more. So is this the one Willow has? No, it's a rain sheet. Oh no, that's that's a, a blanket. I want that one. Well, let's go see it. All right, it's just it's too it's too thin, way too thin. That's just it just has a fleece lining. So pick again, sister. Pick again. Yeah. Look, they have those really colorful ones down there. This is not good. No, that's nice. Alright, we're looking, we're looking. I get to Look, there's pink. Me. There's pink. No. Pink and gray. No. I think girls should have pink. Chino should have pink. I agree. Chino should have pink. Who did have pink? Finn, right? Finn has pink? Yeah. Alright. Wait, wait. There's no 16 of these sizes. No. No. That's not the one. Essentially, I want her to have this one. Essentially, I And Gabby, that. Sophie wants her Look, to have the blue. horse on a horse. Yeah, but it's for a boy. So the truth is that it will be whatever size we can get. This is a 63. I'd like to open one. There's one here. No, that's the non-winter. No, this is winter. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. Alright, suddenly we don't know what size she wears. I thought she was a 40. I thought her blanket was a 44. This is a much bigger than that. I think it was a 48. So now we gotta eyeball it. Let's get ready to eyeball it. I knew I... Well, then we need a 50. Look at they actually saw me coming and hung up this sign. <laughs> so a uh, horse that's 11.2 should wear a 48, which is not accurate for us because our horse is 8.2 hands high and she pr is wearing a 48. So I think we need a 51. They have one of these, which is the I'm same as Honey, and it's black. No, Willow has it. Oh, Willow already has this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, they have this in the right size. Only one in the whole section in the right size. So then um, they only have one of these in the right size that we need, but they don't have it at this store. So what did you decide, Sophie? Get this one right now that's ugly, or wait until tomorrow and get that one? It's still ugly, but it's better. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we can ask her to get the blue. Do you want to ask if yeah. she can get the blue? Yeah. All right. So basically, they have another store. They're going to order it in, and it'll be here in the morning. So we'll have to come back tomorrow. Okay? All right. You heard it here. We're going to wait for the right color. So we're trying to figure out what else we could get for Christmas. We need Christmas shopping ideas. So the girls love, so Lemieux is out for us and now we're back to, we started at, we did start at Ogilvy. We did start at Ogilvy. Gabby got her first Ogilvy half baby pad at the Royal Winter Fair, right? Is yeah. it, oh, where'd you get it? Oh, you got it here. Yeah. When we got Storm and now they're back to this. They like these little pads. 
I like the full pink one. Yeah, don't you have a full pink one? No, I have the pink one with purple outline. Yeah, so that's one thing I told you guys on the weekend is that you can go on the website and order any color combination and create your own color combination. That's stunning. All right, so I guess that's it. Like, we don't have anything else we need other than... I find my saddlebag it just falls off my horse. It's so loose. I want like a nice leather saddlebag. Like a really nice one. You should get this. It comes with water bottles. Two water bottles. Yeah, but they don't like, they're not secure when they attach to your horse. Did you like any of these coats? They're really cute. That's a cute little purse. I love leather stuff. Those are adorable. Is it a keychain? Yeah. Aww. I love that. Bubbles. Oh, it's a little fan. Isn't it cute? Things on the things. Oh, you have to try it. Yeah, that's an old game made new again. I want this. Look at this. This would be so good for a Christmas gift. It's boot water and stain protectant, leather balm, like it's a boot care kit. It's called, this stuff is called Grand Circuit, and it is... A, it says it eliminates hoof rot, thrush, and white line disease on contact. The pack trunk right there that Sophie wants for Christmas. Yeah, but I want the green and purple. She wants the green and purple one. I don't see a green and purple one. What's it for? Stabby. <laughs> no, that's not what that's for. This one. No, no organizing. This is cute. It's from Carrots. Oh, I like that. That's like really cute for bottles and stuff like it could be your bath kit okay. i like that too but there's nothing you can't you just throw everything in there you can't you don't know that yeah i do i opened it at the royal oh oh my god i want that too what do you guys think of this do they have any different colors and you can take this off and adjust them and it's nice and soft it's not bright in here it's cute though. I like that. How much is that? We may or may want this for Christmas. I still want the other It's really good for like if you go on trail rides and stuff. Because it's all contained, you just carry it. I love that. I definitely opened that at the Royal. Yeah. We have this, but I'm not Yeah, she's too young for that. I think she'd get her legs caught in it. It's, it's, I know, but she's young. She's young. Willow was like smart and wouldn't jump up. I think Honey would just push right through that. Oh, that's a cute color. Gabby wants blue. What color of blue do you want, Gabby? Navy? That's royal. Purple. This is navy. You like that one? Oh, this is navy. Then there's navy there. So Chino's in that market for a new. I asked for a lunging whip. Oh, there's one with a flag. You can get a flag here. We did not know that. But I, I really wanted a pink one, though. They have a blue one. Yeah, we have those. She just needs a horse. has a matching brush and a matching jump. And a matching halter somewhere over here, right here. So there is a blanket downstairs and it has matching everything. Oh, that's, that's cool actually let me ask her if they have matching stuff to the blanket that we're getting it's nice to be able to spend time looking for what you want I want more of these new ones of these okay there's a Santa hat for a horse already made specifically for a horse oh, I think this is for their eyes. no that's for their ears oh, if you put it on. oh my gosh it's no it goes backwards yeah, and then it, their ears go in that. I'm sure of it. Okay, but wait, because we actually are going in the Santa Claus parade. Okay, so we have that thing. All right, we need like a Santa suit. Oh. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay, so I'll get it out for tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's that's the one she wants. It's so cute. Oh, 
I asked her if she has a Santa suit for horses and she didn't even laugh at me. I said like, am I the only person that ever asked you that? And she said no, that other people have too. And she said that they might have a blanket. So the only problem is we don't need a blanket for like a big horse unless Anyway, we have to come back tomorrow. She's gonna get it out for me. I got some stuff for our first aid kit. I almost bought this stuff. Like, I was so close to buying it. Ow. I was so close to buying this stuff and I'm reading the directions. And um, it says it could burn hair. It will burn like your fingers. You like, you have to set it and put it in vinegar and then you have to like put it in a plastic bag for so long and uh, has all this it makes gas and I'm like yeah that's not for me that's way too complicated for me where are my keys so we didn't get that one we've been doing really good with Chino's feet Gabby's been using like a putty in there and I saw some more putty in there and I think we're on the right track with him uh we're, we also ordered shaving so I'm gonna go and pick those up right now the snow is melting oh I swear Shavings are getting less, are getting smaller and smaller as time goes on. Don't you know that you're beautiful?